brought them to their Christian nation. You know how you can say, oh, listen, I don't want to be bothered. You go your way, I go my way, right? Just go. They did. And they say they went and followed them into that, into Abyssinia, right? And they went to try to get them back to continue to persecute them. The first and fourth. And when they got to that Christian nation and they spoke to the king to try to get him to give them back. And he said, well, tell them what you believe about Jesus. And they recited that. And the king said, there's a friend of Muhammad the prophet, not a Muslim, a Christian nation. It said he took his staff, right? And then he drew a line in the sand. He said, your religion and my religion, the only difference is the distance between this line. And he told them that was coming after them, get out of here. And he protected Islam, protected the Muslims in the early days. And then, in that 10 year period, 40 years, they knew Muhammad. They knew him. He was their son from the parish. And it's reported, he said, if I tell you there's an army coming to attack you, would you believe me? Of course, you are a son, you're one of us. Then he told him something else. Then he said, on the strength of you knowing me for 40 years, calling me el the truthful one, a city, on the strength of that, I'm not a stranger. Well, I say raised up among them a messenger from them, right? He said, I tell you, la ilaha illallah, there's no God but Allah, one God, on the strength of what you say about me. And they couldn't accept it. <sighs> but I'm, t on 40 years, you raised me. You knew my father, Abdullah. You knew my mother, Amina, Abna, et cetera. My uncle, Talib, my grandfather, Abu Mutalib. And on the strength of what you said about me, on the strength of you leaving your treasures with me when you travel, on the strength of you choosing me to put the black stone back in place when it fell, right? I'm not a stranger. So if you say that and I bring that to you, why can't you accept there's one God? And it got so bad, even of their beloved, they got so fed up with Tarihi, the oneness, so important. And as that sword say, Puhu Allahu Aha, Kalas is finished. One God. Ikhlas comes from Kalas. It's Kalas. No, no, no more conversation. One God. They got so fed up with their own that they plotted to kill him, right? He had to leave his home. He had to leave Mecca to flee from death. Understand what we're saying. Not just persecution, they tried to kill him in his bed. That's how much that affected them. So you know the power of one God, Ahad. So they plotted, and Allah revealed it, and he fled to Medina. And Ali, he laid in the bed, put his life on the line, right? And when they came and pulled back the cover to stab Muhammad the Prophet Islam, they saw that it was Ali. And that gave Muhammad the Prophet with Abu Bakr Siddiq, his companion, time to flee. And we know the story of them going in the cave, etc., in the spider. That's the power. So my point is, he's the messenger of Allah, the seal of the prophets, the chosen. But did he escape persecution? No. We read about Taif and other places where they stone him so much you can hear blood in his sandals, man, as he's walking. Good man, honorable man, but the messenger of Allah. He, had to, he goes through that because he's a mortal like me and you. 
no separation. You will be tried and tested. You will have difficulty in your life. He had to get one to relate to that. So he said, oh, Mary, you don't know what I'm going to be. You have no idea. No, we ain't philosophizing here. All I said, if there was a community of angels on the earth, I'd have sent you an angel from the heavens. I'm raising up one right from among you. And you see what he went through, him and his followers and believers, and what Muslims still go through. So Allah says comfort. And that's what we want to bring from Quran. Allah says, do you think, read the sword the spider which protected Muhammad the prophet and the king. Read it, start it out. He says, do mankind think that you want to get to say you believe? And not be tried and tested with fitna, oppression, gossip. Why, well, surely we tested those before you. So you can be tested all kind of ways, loss of loved ones, job, whatever, all of this. But Allah is all forgiving, all merciful. So Allah sends this to Muhammad the Prophet and to all of us. So a duha. We will recite that in close. Comfort. Whenever you're going through something, remember this, all of us. And we always go through something one way or the other. So 93, given to Muhammad the prophet, and 94. And comfort, because he's a human like us. What distinguished that was revelation, right? The Quran, God is messenger of Allah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Surah Duha. Comfort for all of us. Allah says, What do I by the glorious morning light? And this do I, that's most times when we have the eggs a lot, right? It's after Fajr, but before dawn. It kind of falls in there when the sun is at its brightest time, right? Uh, dawn is there. It's at the peak where you can clearly see it, but in terms of the brightness, that's do I, right? When we used to have the air. So Allah says, by the glorious bright light, right? What do you have? And we know that because in the surah before that, right? In the surah Shams, Allah says, What Shams he why do I have? Okay, so that's how you know it's connected to the sun, right? Because in the surah Shams, this man Allah says, What Shams he why do I have? By the sun in his glorious morning light, right? Uh, uh, that's 92. Then when Allah goes over, when we go over to, uh, I think that's 91 from, when he go over to, to this here, to do I it don't have to say son because I'm connected it with the son, okay? So then it just says, what do I have? The bright, glorious light. Give it to Muhammad the prophet and to all of us. It says, well, lady is there, said that. And by the night, when it's just still, Right? By the night. So you have morning, and then it takes us to the night, right? What do I have by the glorious morning light, Muhammad the Prophet says, and believers? Well, they need their such and by that night, when it doesn't seem like it's going away, the darkness in your life, and by the stillness of the night, it just seems, man, is the light ever going to come in my life? Man, man it's just been dark. For a long time, Allah saying, by the night when it is still, right, just sit. Man, when the Ekka Rambu came with man Paul there. Brother, sister, Muhammad the Prophet says, your Lord has not forsaken you, nor is he displeased. It don't mean because we're going through that that Allah is angry with you, that Allah has left you. Allah already said you're going to be tested. And, and a lot of times that pressure brings out the diamond from that pressure. What you really made of. Do you know how we are born? They say the pressure on that baby coming out is unimaginable. But look what comes out. Push! Slide back up, right? Pressure brings out. So Allah says, your Lord has not forsaken you. Allah said, I'm closer to you than your juggler vein. He has not left you or he's displeased because you're going through challenges. 
And Allah says, well, after that to kind of like that man in the Hold on. Be patient. He said, because your future will be better for you than the present. You see the language of it? He said, he doesn't left you with this, please. He said, be patient, because your future is going to be better than where you're at right now. Look to the future. If I may say, I remember when I had cancer. In my face, 70 pounds. They said, don't look at where you're at now. They gave you music to listen to, right? To calm you down. Don't look at where you're at now. Look where you want to be in the future. Because if you don't, you're going to give in to that and give up. Have hope for the future, right? And that's what we as Muslims do, right? We do good now, hoping for benefit in the future, right? Hoping for Jannah, etc., right? We do what we do now, as Muhammad the Prophet said, live your life as if you're going to live for a short time, but also live it as if you're going to live for a long time. And we just pray. Rabbana atinafi dunya hasana. Wa fi akirati hasana tank. Wa kinaga bin nar. Give us the best now and in the future. And Allah says, and we'll keep on. Well, akirati kainu laka mina ula. Ula, that the future will be better than your present. And Allah says, well, I saw fair you think I rumble careful to do. And soon we will give you that which will please you. And when you see this here, uh, 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 you know, I say, Roddy, Roddy, Allah, Roddy, Allah, and Roddy, please, right? Roddy, that's where they come from. Your future will be, and soon we will give you that which will please you. So you go through the struggle, all of us, sister, brother, but you have faith and patience. That it's going to get better. He says to Muhammad the Prophet of Islam, but it's revealed for us to follow the way of Muhammad the Prophet, who believes like we believe, and we believe like he believes, right? So Allah said, You're going to go through this. He didn't exempt him from it, so we ain't going to be exempt. He said, But have faith, and then Allah takes you back. Always remember where we come from. Whether you go directly from this, remember other times in your life. Never forget where you come from. But this is what he said to Muhammad the Prophet. He says, he says, as a, he says, Alim, you did the care, you did in forever. Didn't I find you an orphan and give you shelter? In other words, you're going through this now, but reflect back to another time. Even with us, even you had good times. But reflect on the time you couldn't even change your own diapers, man. Couldn't wipe your own behind. Even if you don't have physical bad times in it, go back to the time you couldn't think for yourself. So he said to Muhammad the Prophet, didn't I find you an orphan? Didn't your mother pass? Didn't your father pass? Who raised you? So you're going through this now, but reflect on where you came from. And for all of us, never forget where you came from, even when you're doing good. And it can always be worse in some way, if you can imagine that. Some say it can't be, but believe me, whatever situation we're in, if it's tough, it could be tougher. Mm -hmm. So he says to him, didn't I find you an orphan and give you shelter? Well, I get, well, I get that there, darling, if I had that. Didn't I find you astray? Yeah. Didn't I find you well rejected that darling? Hello, El Fati, I am darling. Didn't I find you stay when you was aware of it or not? And do what? And give you guidance. And guide you to this thing. Wasn't you astray? Allah said to Muhammad the Prophet, said, but that's comfort. That's giving him comfort. And then it says, Well, I get the care, I learn for Agna. And didn't I find you dependent and make you independent? Didn't I find you dependent? Didn't I find you in a dependent situation, but bring you some sense of independence and the self responsibility? This way, he's saying to Muhammad, this is a comfort. And go to this sword. After what Muhammad the Prophet is going through and what you're going through, and then Allah says, 
فأما اليتيم فلا تقهر so don't be harsh on the orphan those who don't have leadership don't have a mother or father but who's going through things don't be harsh on him he was an orphan himself and then it says وأما سائلا فلا تقهر no of those who are seeking those who have questions وأما بنقمتي ربي كفى حديد no matter what, with the right spirit, Allah says, retort his favors unto you, the nickname. And you hear the word hadith, it's a report, report. He says, وَأَمَّا بِنِقْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِيهِ Nickname, naive. He says, report the good that has come in your life. You see somebody else struggling, you don't, we don't, we don't mean in an arrogant way. Say, no, brother, I've been there, done that. And this is what the result was. So he's giving this to Muhammad the Prophet, who went through struggle. But this is the deal for us also as a comfort, no matter what you go through. Know your Lord has not forsaken you, nor is he displeased. And that your future, we look to the future, and things will be better, as Allah said. And then Allah gives him this story here as we call Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah says, Alam nasa like a sadra, did not we expand for you, your sadur. And in Surah 6, Allah said, when he wants to guide you, he expands your sadur, your chest with Islam. So Allah said, did not I expand for you, your sadur, where your heart and lungs are, right? He says, well, I don't know anything and remove the burden from you. And then he says, Al-Lazim, Al-Qadar-Zahra, that which weighed heavy on your back. And he says, Lord, I'll sit in there like a victory. And we raise for you your memory, victory, your, your esteem, Muhammad the Prophet, your memory, right? To be recognized, right? For in the al usri yusra, this is where we want to go. With the difficulty, with the difficulty is the ease. You hear, in the mouth, in the mouth, us, usra, and usra, yusra. With the difficulty, there is the ease to facilitate. So right within your struggle, there's something to facilitate you and make you better. And Allah says, you didn't hear that in your right ear or your left ear. He says, Inna ma'al usri yusra. He says it again. That with your difficulty, with it, it didn't say right there, it didn't say after, with, right in it, whether we see it or not, is the ease that which helps facilitate and make you better. And Allah says, so when you finish one, one task or whatever you're doing, still labor hard. Of course you take a break or something like that if you're working hard. But he says, still labor hard. And it ends by saying, well, in be careful about. But no matter what, keep your attention on your right back, on your Lord, whatever you go through, whatever we go through, keep our attention on our right. And so we're going to close with the du'a of right, right? So we pray Allah accept our Juma today, the kutbah and the salat, cleanse our hearts and our minds that our intentions are good, alhamdulillah, and that Allah increase the love among all of us and protect us and guide us and have mercy on us. Alhamdulillah,